Good evening, fellow collectors. February 27th, 2010. And let's look at some more crap on the eBay auction site. But before I do that, I want to give a little uh, push here for Autograph Magazine. AutographMagazine.com. This is an issue from a few months ago with Steve McQueen on the front. You got to get this. You get one every month. It's got some great exemplars, uh, hints, tips, what to look out for. I wish somebody's buyers would subscribe to this magazine because it's these buyers of the crap that I show you tonight and every in my other 130 videos that keeps these sellers in business. As a matter of fact, this month's issue is Shirley Temple. I mean, it's got entertainment items, sports items, you know, uh, political figures, autographs, things like that. But if you do any kind of autograph, hunting, collecting, whatever you do, autograph magazine. I may give a plug for this thing, but I don't get it for free. I pay for it. You know why? Because it's worth it. All right. A few videos ago, I showed everybody this uh, Derek Jeter buyback card. This is an authentic Derek Jeter Upper Deck 1993 buyback card. Uh, number to 93, and that's an authentic Derek Jeter autograph. I uh, was mentioning that I've seen a couple times now on eBay forgeries of this particular card. Now right next to it of course is the upper deck, the UDA Certificate of Authenticity. Well I spotted one this morning on eBay. Let's look at the item number first. Item number 140-386-683-331 from seller Joel M. Cook. Joel M. Cook. And let's look at the forgery. Oh man. That is one ugly forgery. People are bidding on this. You know, like I've always said, and I will continue to hammer the buyers, the people who bid and buy this crap are the ones that keep the sellers of forgeries in business. This is an obvious forgery. It's a 100% forgery. And this is like an $800 card. If this is real, first of all, the other graph is, is definitely a forgery. But where is the Upper Deck Certificate of Authenticity? Where is the UDA card? Yeah, where is it? You wouldn't lose something like that if this was authentic. Every one of those 93 that are authentic came with this upper deck certificate of authenticity. Not this fraudulent stuff being sold by seller Joel M. Cook. That's a forgery, 100%. Also, a couple videos ago, I mentioned a seller called D's Collectibles For You who's got uh, autographed baseballs in the multiples of uh, Alex Rodriguez, Chipper Jones, and here's another one from her. This is item number 270-5-2328-8502. This piece of crap sold for $41, and if you go to her uh, eBay auctions right now, all of a sudden she stops selling baseballs, but guess what? She's got 95 different signed cards. They all look really, really horrible. Kobe Bryant in multiples, Ken Griffey in multiples, Alex Rodriguez in multiples, and they're all fakes. Yes, they are. Doesn't sell anything original. I just sold about a dozen of these ugly Chipper Jones forgeries. And what keeps her in business? The stupid people who buy crap like this. This is a 100% forgery. Another seller that I've uh, exposed in the past... Corone 75. Corone 75. This fake Derek Jeter autograph on a photo is item number 2804-7023-4567. And uh, there it is. There's that forgery. COA from Playboy Authentics. Anything with a COA from Playboy Authentics is a forgery. I've been looking at that crap for years from them. Uh, this piece of crap, some jerk buyer idiot buyer bid $66 for this piece of crap from Corone 75 another item from Corone 75 another forgery this happens to be a Ken Griffey forgery item number 2806919 and a really really ugly looking Ken Griffey uh, this guy sells some really really bad stuff but and you know what keeps him in business on eBay the stupid buyers Another one from Corone 75. Let's look at the item number first. 2804-692-65570 from Corone 75. A ugly Alex Rodriguez forgery. A pathetic Alex Rodriguez forgery. And you want to see a really, really ugly Derek Jeter autograph bat, a really, really horrible forgery? 
Let's check out the item number first. Item number 11049922-9942 from seller Duker007. And there it is. That is one pitiful looking Derek Jeter forgery. You know, people think they can just get on eBay and just sell anything fraudulent and nothing will happen to them. That's why I started doing these videos exposing the crap on eBay and exposing the crap on Coach's Corner. Because you know what this is? This is fraud. This is fraud. But somehow there's people think there's a boundary around there where nothing can happen to these people. These people think they get on, do whatever they want, and for the most part, nothing does happen. The worst that happens, if anything does happen, they get suspended and they come back under another account. Because eBay makes a lot of money on forgeries, and we all know that, don't we? Let's look at another Derek Jeter forgery on a baseball bat. Let's take out the item number first. This is actually a Yankees team signed bat. I'm already going to show you the uh, Jeter forgery. There's, uh, the other forgeries are A-Rod, Matsui, etc., etc. This is item number 2505-8618-7231 from seller Munster's Game 37. Munster's Game 37. A horrible. They got, I mean, the Jeter and the A-Rod and the Mat were all penned by one person. I think the you buy it now was $7.99 for this piece of junk. And from seller Webson 3. Webson 3. Item number 29040767 It's actually a Derek Jeter and CC Sabathia signatures on a on a pennant. I'm only going to show you the uh, Jeter forgery, but I guarantee the Sabathia signature is also a forgery, but you know, these people think they can hide here and do whatever they want with no danger of, uh, you know, being prosecuted for fraud or anything like that. This is fraud. These are forgeries. 80% of the autographs, sports and entertainment, on eBay are forgeries. There are thousands of sellers on eBay selling all kinds of fraudulent items. And most of you buyers who buy this crap, you keep these sellers in business. You know why? Because you don't have any common sense and you have no business at all buying autographs. Let's look at this one here from L.A. Blondie. 82. L.A. Blondie, 82. This is a Yankees team signed baseball that I think she was claimed was signed between 2007 and 2008 spring training or both spring tra training seasons. Let's look at the item number first. 3304-0925-9148. First of all, the autographs are horrible. But if you look at some of the names on there, you wonder how could they be so In other words, one of the names that's being uh, supposedly is on there is Alfonso Soriano. Well, Alfonso Soriano was on the Cubs. Their spring training is in Mesa, Arizona. So how did he? How did she get Soriano's autograph in Florida in either 2007 or 2008? You know what that's called? That's called common sense. Yet there are going to be people bidding on this piece of crap. Even just using some common sense, you eliminate right away that it's not authentic from seller L.A. Blondie 82. You want to see a really horrible Mariana Rivera from the same seller? That is one ugly, she got a lot, she got a couple of these, they're ugly. From L.A. Blondie 82. Item number 3304092682278. And one quick item I want to show you guys. This is, this is just horrible. This is item number what is the item number on this thing? I can't read my writing anymore. Item number 220557881050. Seller claims that, first of all, they want to buy it now at $49,000. $49,000. An all star signed bat. If you look over there, there's a circled autograph. It's of Derek Jeter. That Derek Jeter is a forgery 100%. As a matter of fact, I already submitted this to Quick Opinion. I already got the Quick Opinion back. Why did I get a Quick Opinion even though I know it's a forgery? For docu documentation purposes only. I needed that. Just, Dustin, you just never know. But see the Derek Jeter circled over there? That's a forgery. Another picture I took from the same bat. The A-Rod circled over. See the circle in the middle? That's A-Rod. That's an A-Rod forgery. That is not Alex Rodriguez's autograph. This and everything else I showed you here would fail PSA or JSE authentication. All right? So that's tonight's stuff. So anyway, I think I'll do another video tomorrow, and I'll see you guys, hopefully, tomorrow.